Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and we're going to play a little six rounds of Who Am I? we got 2020-2021 Hit Parade, Autograph Basketball Jerseys, Series 18. Now, these are six loose boxes, not from a fresh case. They just We ordered them, they just shipped them to us sealed. Each individual box is sealed, um, but not inside a case or anything like that. Uh, there is an opportunity for, I think most of these are going to be replica jerseys, but there are opportunities to get authentic jerseys out of here as well. So here's a small example of what can be pulled out of here, among others. And big thanks to this group of people right here for getting into the action. Don's looking for some jerseys. we got all 30 teams in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. One and a five, six times their names and teams. One, two. Three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. We got Gretchen down to Don. One and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. We got Milwaukee Bucks. Down to the Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, Gretchen with the Bucks, Joseph with the Hawks, Don, Grizzlies, Knicks, and my Lakers. Brian with the Celtics, Don, Wizards, Jazz, Warriors. Nick Stober with the Nets. Don with the Thunder and the Pacers. Clayton with the Spurs. Brian with the Clippers, Don with the Raptors, Joseph with the Trailblazers, Jay with the Suns, Clayton with the Mavs, Don with the Magic, Hornets, and Timberwolves, Gretchen with the Pelicans, Don with the Rockets, Heat, Sixers, Kings, Nuggets, Nick with the Bulls, Gretchen with the Pistons, and Don with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's get all the everything names and teams on one page right here. Let's sort by column B. Any trades? I honestly don't know if anybody's in this break is actually watching this live. Don has to be. Don, Don's got to be around. He's usually listening in the background. All right, and, and again, this is our last break of the night, but I'll be back tomorrow, 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I've got all the six boxes back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see that they're, that they're numbered through 100. All right, so there you go. So let's see what's in here. Maybe no trades. Probably, Rex. All right, so let's close the trade window. Video's still rolling. Let's close the trade window. TWC and let's roll. Put your thinking caps on. There's Don. Don's there. He might be lagging a little bit, but he's here. catch up with the video in a few minutes all right so here's the world famous who am I or I'm gonna turn off that top camera so I don't reveal too much of the jersey all right so who am I I'll give you clues and you give me the player Is this uh okay? All right, who am I? I'm a retired basketball player. It's all basketball, obviously. Come on, Wikipedia. I played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams in my entire career. I have four NBA championships, three NBA Finals MVPs, one-time NBA Most Valuable Player, 15-time All-Star, three-time All-Star Game MVP, eight-time All-NBA First Team, three-time All-Defensive Second Team, a Rookie of the Year, All-Rookie First Team, a two-time NBA Scoring Champion, an NBA 50th Anniversary Team member. He's pretty good. Two gold medals. 
He has a career 28,596 points, 13,099 rebounds, 2,732 blocks. Uh, no, I, I played for six teams my entire career. You know, Shane, six teams my entire career. Now, I'm going to go from uh, the team that I spent my last year with. And I'm going to go backwards. I think you'll eventually get it. Celtics was the career, was the team I retired. I ended up retiring after my stint with the Celtics. Before that, I played with the Cavs. Before that, I played with the Suns. Before that, I played with the Heat. Before that, I played with the Lakers. And before that, I played with the Orlando Magic. There you go. Oliver's got it. It's the big Aristotle. Shaquille O'Neal. Is this an authentic jersey? I don't think this is. Yeah, it says custom jersey right here. we got a JSA sticker here. That's a pretty good custom jersey, though. All right, so I'm, I'm going to leave it nicely folded in here, but there's the O'Neal right here. There's the famous 34 right here, and there's his autograph. Shaq Daddy, the big Aristotle, the big cactus when he was in Phoenix. Lakers are only down four points to the Dallas Mavericks. They got AD back, too. Um... That goes to Don, who has my Lakers. Nice. Congrats, Don. Actually, let me put some blue tape on there so that post-it note doesn't fall off. There we go. All right, yeah, that is a very good start. Next one, this is box 64 out of 100. So they, they didn't make too many of these. I, another retired basketball player, uh, picked in the 1985 draft in the fourth round, I guess when they did a bunch of rounds there, in the fourth round, played for one, two, three, four pro teams in my entire career, 8,072 points, 1,700 rebounds, 4,300 assists. I was first drafted by the Pistons, but I don't think I ever played for them. And went to college uh, at NC State. Midland College then transferred to NC State. Who am I? If someone gets it with those clues, I'll be pretty impressed. I'll give you the, I'll give you the easy clues in a second. That goes to this person. Here. Wow, Shane, nice. What gave it away? Maybe the college? The the tr Midland to NC State? In 1985? Yeah, it's Spud Webb. 1986 slam dunk contest champion standing at only 5 foot 6. Oh, maybe the college gave it away. There it is. He, you even, he even get, hit you with a slam dunk champ inscription in there as well. In the old Hawks colors right here, there's the Spud Webb. 
This looks like a... Oh, an Adidas jersey. Oh, and Shane grew up in the ATL. Nice. Here's the JSA right here, too. Nice. So you can see the... So the authentic jerseys are really nice because it's worth looking at. You can see the old Adidas logo right here. That's kind of an older jersey. NBA logo, man. You got the size tags and stuff on the bottom right here. Nice hardwood classics jersey. That goes to Joseph F. Right, now this is all... All right, nice. So Joseph H. Yeah, all we're saying it's a swingman jersey. Not authentic. Well, it's still it's still Adidas. I guess it's more authentic than the custom, the custom jerseys. At least you got the Adidas logos on there, and the NBA logo and everything, and the Hawks logo. Yeah, I don't think Spud wore a double XL, right? It's not his jersey, but. All right, so that that's uh, Joseph, Joseph uh, Heiberg with that one. So yeah, sometimes you'll get these uh, official jerseys rather than the custom jerseys, which don't have any of the, the, the brand logos on there. is going to win this one. All right, next up, who is this? They don't have the names on here. Is that this player? I think it is. I forgot that he played for that team. Okay. <laughs> All right, who am I? Oh, I guess I was drafted by that team. I completely forgot about that. All right, anyway, who am I? I'm an active NBA player, a one-time NBA champion, NBA All-Defensive first team, NBA All-Defensive second team in a couple different years, a Big 12 All-Rookie team member. Um was the 19th overall pick when I was drafted by this team. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams in my entire career. Who am I? Give you some more clues here. I went to uh, I went to Texas College, first round pick in 2010, 19th overall. Try to try to remember. Don't uh, don't look it up. Uh, this might be a tough one. I was drafted by the Celtics in 2010, first round, 19th overall. That might that might give you a little more information here. Seven, played seven years, like six, seven seasons with the Celtics. Then went to the, I guess I was with the main Red Claws and Hapel Jerusalem in 2011. But then came back and was a semi-regular with the Boston Celtics and went to the Pistons for a season, went to the Clippers for a season, the Grizzlies for a part of a season. Looks like he got traded. Then played with the Lakers and won a championship in 2020. He's got a ring. He was a golem. He was ring chasing. He got it. Then he went to the Heat. And then I think he got traded to the Rockets, where he is now. He was a number zero in, uh, in Boston, pre-Tatum. Not TJ Ford. This might be a tough one. Fan favorite, for sure. Avery Bradley. So there's Adley for Bradley right there. This is another Adidas jersey, which is pretty cool. 
So there's his autograph. There's the JSA sticker. It's a cool Celtics jersey here. Let's see if I can keep this folded a little bit nicer than the other one. No? It looks like a custom jersey. Well, it says Adidas on there. This looks like a custom jersey. Yeah, I thought the colors looked a little off. All right, so it's a custom jersey, not an Adidas jersey, but that goes to, still nice, Brian Frank. And the Boston Celtics. Wait, did you answer that before I revealed it, before the reveal? All right, I'll, go, I'll give you one for three. All right, there you go. Brian Frank with the Celtics. All right, a few more to go. All right, all right, I trust you. We'll give you one for three. All right, this is box 31 out of 100. Let's see who we have here. This kind of looks like an authentic jersey, no? Oh, okay, I think I know who this is. This does look like an authentic jersey. And I think this is... Oh, I should change the game, right? I don't think the Lakers... I don't know, this, is, this game's pretty close, too. Okay, yeah, this is him. The, the jersey is the team that he used to play for. But he was a first overall pick, late first round pick, pick 30th overall. And uh, he's, he's had a little, he's had some interesting, interesting things happen to him. In November of 2020, I don't know. I mean, the charges were dropped, so I, I guess we can't really put this on him. Who knows why he was pulled over. But... The, uh, the county declined to indict me on a felony gun charge. And the misdemeanor charges of me driving without a license were also dropped. So I guess there was. All right, so the Lakers. Oh, no. Dropped a dice into the trash can. Saved. All right. And then he was, uh, he was defending his buddy recently. They were, they were just hanging out at a strip club. And I guess there was... There was there was an incident, Kevin Port Jr. sticking up for his buddy, but got in a little altercation. Small forward shooting guard, drafted originally by the Cleveland Cavaliers with the Rockets now. He's actually playing pretty well for the Rockets, I want to say. He plays with the Rockets now, but this jersey is definitely his, uh, his original team. Yep, Oliver's got it. Kevin Porter Jr. Now this has a David Adams authentication sticker to it. There's his autograph. And you can see the David Adams card inside right here. Nice, so this is this looks more, of, more like the, uh, yeah, this is a fanatic jersey maybe? There you go, nice. Jens has got it too. So what's cool about these, you'll get the NBA logo. There's his autograph once again and his number. And that's Don and the Cavs, by the way. There's the Fanatics trim right there as well. I, I want to try to keep this nicely folded in here, but... We got the, the tags there already. The Cleveland logo right there. It's pretty sharp. All right, there you go, Don. Don and the Cavs. Where's my blue tape? Oh, there it is. All 
Oh, there you go. Is Sheldon Noisy? AJ Pollock doing work? All right. Good job, guys. All right. Two more to go. This one's 34 out of 100. All right. Who am I? Oh, right. Don Cleveland. This is for you. All right, this is another authentic looking jersey. Not, definitely not a custom jersey. He's got the NBA, NBA logo right in here. Sheldon Noisy, what's what's he doing hitting home runs? All right, who am I? I am a 6'11 point guard. Played for one team my entire career. This is going to be pretty easy. Played for LSU. First round. First pick overall. Dated Kendall Jenner from 2018 to 2019. Who am I? This is easy. There's really no, I mean, all the clues are going to give it away. Yep, Oliver, Jens, you guys got it. It's Ben Simmons. And that's Don McRae with the Sixers. You don't see his autograph too often. Enjoy a look at that autograph. That's what Ben Simmons' autographs looks like. Remember, he's exclusive to Upper Deck. In fact, you'll see the Upper Deck certification right here as well. There's Simmons right there. There's his, the NBA logo right here. These are really cool. So since he's exclusive to Upper Deck, we don't see his autograph too often, but that's what it looks like. Kind of take a peek at it. Oh, there you go. Got the Adidas Swingman jersey right here. That's really cool. So it should have all the Sixers logos on the front, all the authentic logos on the front. There's his number again right there. Nice, got the star trim right there, the Sixers up front, the Adidas logo. It's pretty sweet. There you go, Don McRae with the Sixers. Maybe they'll make some noise in the playoffs. This jersey might be pretty popular if they're in the playoffs. Maybe someone wants to, I don't know. Someone wants to wear it to a game or something like that. I like Ben Simmons' game. I think, I think he gets uh, he gets a bad rap for you know not being able to be a guard that sh that shoots outside. But he's not really a guard, is he? Kind of a guard. Like, he's got the size of a forward, can move like a guard. He's a pretty unique player. Once they can, like Doc Rivers or someone, if someone can re actually figure out how to deploy him I think he's playing well this season if they figure out how to really un unleash his true talents he could be he could be very dangerous all right last one of the last break of the night thanks everyone I'll be back at one o'clock Pacific um, ooh. okay could be um, I'll be back one o'clock Pacific four o'clock this is a nice way to close things out and judging from what you saw in the Hit Parade basketball, hockey fans, get into that Hit Parade hockey. All right. How do I give you some clues without giving it to, giving it away? All right, we'll start with this. Three-time NBA champion, two-time NBA Finals MVP, three-time NBA Most Valuable Player, 12-time NBA All-Star, and NBA All-Star MVP. Rookie of the Year, All-Rookie Team, All-Defensive Team a few times in a row. Two times the 50-40-90 club. 50% shooting from the field, 40% shooting from three, 90% from free throw. From the charity stripe. Twice.
Part of the, uh, not Kevin Durant, I'll tell you why, because he's part of the NBA's 50th anniversary all-time team. He was also a coach of the year in 1998, if you remember uh, your coach of the year in 1998. And he was also executive of the year in 2012. He had 21,791 points, 8,974 rebounds, 5,695 assists. Averaging 24, 10, and 6 a night. A few gold medals. I mean, he, he, was, he was pretty good. Yep, there you go. Oliver's got it. It is indeed Larry Bird. Yeah, coached the Pacers in 98. Coach of the year. Executive of the year in 2012, many years later. Yeah, one of one of my big rivals as a Lakers fan, he was a big worthy, more than worthy opponent for the Lakers. Also, you know your baller when you have your own that you know your big time when you have your own uh, authentication sticker. He's a, he's got good penmanship. And this is a nice uh, nice jersey too. And that's Brian Frank with the Celtics. All right, Oliver went three for six. You could be a 50, 40, 90 guy. Mitchell and Ness jersey right here as well. So and they, they do a good job with these jerseys too. And there you have it. Once again, that is Brian Frank with the Boston Celtics. I think you got a couple... So that's pretty nice. Thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.